Hi folks, I hope everybody's doing good and feeling even better. Well, I've told you guys about my list, um, but sometimes things pop up that aren't on the list. And one of them was this t-shirt that he was selling. His name is Austin. He runs traditionalpocketknives.com, Chris Reisner Cutlery. And he was selling these for $10, but I just check and they're back up to $18. I don't know if that's too much for a t-shirt, but they're pretty sweet. That's what's on the front. So, if you guys uh, want a pretty cool t-shirt, go check it out at traditionalpocketknives.com. Um, that's no plug, it's just because I bought this shirt and it's a pretty damn good shirt, at least for $10. I don't know if anyone wants to pay $18 for a t-shirt. <clears throat> but anyway, something else that popped up that's not on the list, let me put this over here, is a Boker Beer Barrel Whittler. That I found on eBay. Really cheap. And um, they're still available on Blade HQ. But they're going for like $85 on Blade HQ. But um, we'll take a look at it. Let's do a quick spin around the block. I kept things simple. So we'll go over here. We got a little Sheffield flavor um, for the carry today. And the Camillus GI Utility. Back there we got Warthog Jr. And my Marble Sunfish. That's a little tip of the hat to Knife Detector. Um, here's something new. This is called the Highland Spike from Rough Rider. I'll be doing a video on that. Um, of course I put Big John Henry back up on top and it's a little hat tip to uh, Stuart Harvey uh, we're kind of exchanging some emails yesterday and he was showing me his um, railroad spike mall uh, which is a hammer to knock in the railroad spikes and tear up the uh, the railroad ties so yeah he's got a vintage one he used to work on the railroad so with the big John Henry in the hammer. There's a little hat tip to you, Stuart. Uh, let's see what else we got. I finally, after three attempts at getting a marbles tooth pick, this is my fourth one and it's still effed up. So I give up. You know, I don't know. I don't have luck with marbles or rough rider for some reason. I know a friend of mine tells me, well, um, you know, what are you going to expect for a $14 knife? And basically, I just expect it to work. But, um, yeah, that one's kind of effed up, too, but I'm just going to keep it. Tired of sending them back. Uh, something else that's pretty new here is this number 25 pattern GEC built Bulldog brand Bullet Barlow. With, with some really sweet, smooth amber bone. Uh, I'll be showing something on that pretty soon, doing a video on that. And out here, we just got uh, some of my Whittlers, which is one of my favorite patterns. Uh, here, this is a special factory order, GEC from Chris Reisner Cutlery which was from the t-shirt that I got. I buy a lot of stuff from him. He's a, it's a, he's a veteran, and it's his own business. His name is Austin. Um, it's got some really, it's called uh, Coffee House Acrylic. There's only 104 of these made. It's a beautiful Whittler. It's a dogleg Whittler. And has an awe on it. I should do another video on this. It has an awe and a coping blade. So a really nice Whittler there. 
And a mother of pearl. This is an empire. Made in Connecticut. That's an old company. I'm still trying to date that. That could go all the way back to the 30s. I know it's in mint condition. It's either a fake or it's a 30s, that was, 1930s um, Whitler that was stored really good. So I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, let's see, in the back there on the block is the uh, Remington Super Large Camp Knife. And over here we got a couple more uh, Whitlers. We got going left to right is the Boker King Cutter. You see the blade with a beautiful washboard, washboard uh, bone handle and a Boker USA, Boker Weiss uh, Whittler, which is a split back Whittler. And this is a Frank Buster um, Spear Point Whittler which is a beautiful, i have to do a video on that someday. And over here we got the two from the last video, the brother, um, brother and the uh, Rough Rider, both with the Warney blades. But let's pull out the star of the show. You guys are going to love this. Oh, I forgot to show you. This is out here for a reason. Because it's beer barrel wood. And this was kind of expensive too. But this one has the acid wash blades. And it's a Boker beer barrel wood trapper. Which is some beautiful wood. As you can see. Now this was the same price as the knife I'm going to show you. But if you decide to get some beer barrel wood in your collection... I'd go with the Trapper, because if you're going to pay $85, you might as well get some wood on it. I'm going to show you this little Whittler. Whoops. Put that back. Here comes the Whittler. You have to move this out. Out the way. Now, I found this on eBay. Are you guys ready to hear this? For um, I want it in an auction for $27, and they're going for $85 right now on um, Blade HQ. But this has got some beautiful wood on it. I'm a big fan of the beer barrel wood. In fact, there's a couple other, um, Blade HQ has a couple other patterns with the beer barrel wood now this hasn't been sharpened but I think it's been used um, let's see what did I say I told you I paid $27 and then with shipping and tax it was $33 to get it to my house as opposed to 85 plus shipping at uh, Blade HQ. Look at that beautiful wood. Really nice clip point. It does have a lot of blade rub, but that's typical with... Uh, let's try and get it focused in here. But that's typical with Whittlers. Got your coping blade and... Your little pen blade but now apparently this is um, real beer beer barrel wood that they tore off uh, the barrels they broke them all down Boker actually has a video on it or a blade HQ has a video on it because this here this trapper was an exclusive to blade HQ only with the acid wash blades. I'm not sure if this is a Blade HQ exclusive, but they are selling them. And I don't know if any other 
place is selling them, any other dealers. But look at that. Is that some beautiful wood or what? Get a nice, good close up on that. And we'll flip it to this side one more time and then we'll give it a quick uh, QC check. You can see there's some blade rub all over the place on this. But at $33, this is going to make a fun user, and one day I'll start whittling back on uh, uh, Cyclops Kirk Douglas over there. My friend uh, Zan Ali has already carved. Uh, he's got a finished product, and I'm going to put that on my next slideshow uh, video for Halloween. <coughs> So, yeah, that's another thing. If any of you guys got um, some pictures that you want on, I'm going to do another one of them slideshow videos for Halloween. So, if anyone's got any pictures, either, you know, Halloween related with a knife or um, just some of your knives that you might want to see up on the big screen, send them to my email. And it's uh, warthog1961 at gmail.com. And I'm saving the pictures, and I'll pick them all, pick out the ones I like, and um, put them in a video. And we'll have a happy, happy Halloween. Uh, <clears throat> Tang Stamp, H. Boker and Company, Solingen, Tree Brand. Now, if you look up here, right there, there's some serious blade rub. And let's see on this side, some more serious blade rub. <laughs> but, you know, $33 for this beautiful piece. I don't think you can go wrong with that. Let's put it down here with the other ones, and then we'll let you guys go. Remember, uh, take some pictures and send them to me. Even if you got carvings. Do a carving, or maybe even carve a pumpkin. So, my friends, with four Whittlers in front of you, well, let's kind of go this way a little bit, get you a good look at the blade, blade etches. I still got to do a video on that um, Frank Buster up there, fighting Rooster, the high roller. But there you go, my friends. Till next time, take care. Peace. Bye-bye.